This is a presentation of My Grandmother, of uh, Florence Owens Thompson, photographed by Dorothea Lang, presented by myself, Kingston Kwan. Photographer Theodore Lang took the famous photo of the My Grandmother, of uh, Florence Owens Thompson, in 1936 during the Dust Bowl, during the Great Depression that lasted for from about 1929 to 1939. It was the worst economic downturn in history. It was also a time of severe dust storms and sustained droughts throughout the different regions that damaged the ecology and aquaculture in America and also parts of Canada. Millions and millions of acres of land were no longer farmable, forcing families to leave their homes and lands and many headed west towards California and other western states where economic conditions were supposed to be better. The greatly affected areas was in the Midwestern Dust Bowl states and Southern Plains that include Oklahoma and Arkansas and Texas around that region. During that whole period of time, it is estimated that, by, at a, at, that about 300,000 people moved west to California. When the fleeing farmers reached California, they seeked work at farms, picking everything from different types of crops, depending on the seasons. So the increase of people into the agriculture areas of the state caused friction between the newcomers and already established residences. Local officials complained that the migrants living in the crowded camps were health hazards and taking away jobs. Negative feelings developed towards the newcomers were hurtful and alarming, calling the migrants hillbillies and fruit tramps and okies, even if they didn't come from Oklahoma. It was just a derogatory term anyway. At what point law enforcement officers attempted to block and prevent migrants from entering through California borders, telling them that there were no jobs available. And at one point, police officers demanded a fee for California driver license because if you don't have a California driver license, guess what? You cannot drive in California. These were tough times in America and the government took action by establishing several programs to help people get back to work. These programs included the Works Progress Administration, the Civilian Conservation Corp, Corp the civilian, no, the Civil, Civil Works Administration, National Industry Recovery Act of 1933, Social Security Administration, the Resettlement Administration, and the Farm Security Administration. It was the government's Farm Security Administration program that documentary photographer Dorothy Lang was given the opportunity to photograph and bring attention to the plight of the poor and to the displaced uh, farm families and the microworkers. Lang's photograph told stories without words. The photograph, the migrant mother of Florence Owens Thompson, is Dorothea Lang's most recognized iconic photo in her collection of photos during the stressful period in history. Miss Thompson was a migrant worker that lived around like other migrant workers seeking and moving around, seeking work, trying to earn money to feed the families. At the time when Miss Thompson was working at the pea picking camp in Northern California, Dorothea Lang was visiting the same pea picking camp. On one specific day, there was a weather freeze in the area, so no one worked that day, and Dorothea Lang happened to meet Florence Owens Thompson, and Miss Lang took the opportunity to take several photos of Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson, Miss Thompson was not the only subject in photo range of Miss Lang, and other photos of different migrant workers were also taken, all about the same theme. Because Miss Lang was originally a portrait photographer, she uses her experience and skill to capture the human history of Florence Owens Thompson. 
and conveys a real story about life, the concerns and deep emotions of the migrant worker. Dorothea Lang was successful in capturing several images of the migrant workers and when she returned home in San Francisco, she actually took these photos and delivered them to a local newspaper to share the real stories about these migrant camps and the people there. And what happened after that was relief was brought to these migrants. Ms. Thompson survives and was able to move forward with her life. And later she settled in Modesto in California. In 1983, Miss Thompson passes away, leaving 10 children. Theodore Lang's tools, her tools were cameras. The mostly used camera that she has was the large camera, the Graflex Super D, which she used a lot during the Dust Bowl. Uh, collection of photos. As you can see in this collage of photos that you can see the actual photo on the left side. It was large and you see Miss Lang sitting on top of her vehicle sitting there holding her graphics camera. Other common cameras that she used in her career was a Raleigh Flex which is a twin lens reflex camera, as you can see in the middle of the collage, with the two lens mounted on the front of the body of the camera. Later in life, as technology advances, a single, uh, single lens reflex camera came about, and she happened to be holding a Pentax SLR. Dorothy Lang's work provides lessons about her life, about her love for the people, and she wanted to tell stories about using photos to make a difference in, in society. Her lessons point to what and how to see life with different ideologies and perceptions in society. When I see Lang's photos, I seem to see them as actually portraits or self-portraits, telling and sharing great values about the human side of life. It is about our values and how we take or, or see the world. 